Right folks, how are we all? I look a bit red in the face and I've been outside working on my project. I've got a project, you know. Um, so anyway, not that really matters, does it? So here I am still standing loud and being proud and all that shit. So the other day, my mate the Babs, I have got mates, you know, I have got friends outside of YouTube, you know. Um, he's, he dropped me a message and he's, uh, Babs lives in, uh, in fact, I've done a few videos with Babs around Melton and uh, he sent me a, a message. Now, in Melton, there is a place called uh, Round Corner Brewing. Um, I've actually done a video from there. I think I went around the, um, the brewery and tried a few of the beers with Babs. And um, they do some good stuff. They do the gun metal. That's nice. So anyway, and they were actually at Brew London. Brew London. I met them at Brew London as well. They had these balloons with cows that were like cows or, and anyway, full of helium. And they went up and uh, wanted to let us go. So anyway, Bab sent me a message and uh, he knows how much, how much I love fruity beers. Prick. Um, so what he did, he sent me a picture of this. Witchery cherry wheat beer. Yeah, right. Um, and he says, you should try it. Yeah. And uh, he says, I wonder what Scott would think as well, from Scott and Wonder as well. So, what I've done, I bought a can of this, and I've also bought a can of this. Frisbee Lager. So, what I've done, I've bought a can of each and I've sent them down to Scott in Portsmouth, near the sea that is, near the sea. And um, Scott's going to review them as well, I don't know when he's going to review them, but he will review them. Uh, so we'll start with this one, it's a, right I've got, I bought it up on their uh, brewery, roundcornerbrewing.com, they do everything, they do beers and stuff and you get them delivered and all that and you pay for it with PayPal or GPay or whatever it fucking is. Um, now, people at Round Corner Brewing, I'm not a fan of these kinds of beers. Babs has just told me to review it because he's gonna be interested in my reaction. So, what I'm gonna say is, even if I don't like it, it doesn't mean that you, other people, won't like it. You might like these beer snobs, these, these, hundreds and hundreds of beer people on YouTube, right, who think they know everything about it, who go talking off of biscuits and man mangarines and tangerines and fucking whatever there is. Yeah, giving it all the big waffle, right? Don't listen to them. What you do is you buy your own beer, yeah? You buy your own beer, you taste it, and if you like it, you win her. You don't need somebody like me to tell you what to do, right? Just go buy it. Well, I'm just telling you to go buy it, but buy it, try it, like it, or hate it. That's the way it goes. It's, I'm just here to like show what there is out there. So anyway, here we go. So it says it's a cherry tangerine dry. It's a 5.2 in a 330 milliliter cap. Light cherry and orchard fruits characterist characters meld with tangerine aromas from mandarina, mandarina Bavaria hops. Delicate with hints of almonds. Sounds like a fucking Batewell. Uh, no, it just, just says it. Uh, delicate with hints of almonds and cherry Batewell and confectionery sugar that builds, it, it, uh, builds to a slight tart. Hmm, we don't mind a slight tart. Uh, a dry finish. Uh, you can get... 12 cans, 31 pound. One can, 2.95. 72 cans is 167 pounds. So, um, so that's that. So, Got a good one finger head. 
We're always proud to tread our own path, but with this wheat beer, we've wandered quite off the beaten track. Witchery has been brewed with a copious amounts of cherries that amounts for 5% of the fermented sugar, bursting with flavour from these American droops. Whatever a droop is. Well, fucking hell's a droop. This beer is more than a little different. So, brewed and canned at Round Corner Brewing's Melton Mowbray stock, uh, Melton Mowbray Market, Scaffold uh, Road, Melton Mowbray. Um, so, here we go. It's not overpowering in cherry. I was expecting it to be a, lot, a little bit more uh, cherry-ery. Smell it. You know what? You know when you see people smelling it and they're going on and on? You know when these beer snobs go into these alehouses? Do they all just stand there going... <sighs> do they do that? Do they do that really? Just get the drink. Drink it. Let's sup in. very dry very very dry in my book it's dry I am getting a hint of cherry it must be the hops that makes it dry is it the hops that make it dry? I don't know. Um, it's almost as if it is a a beer that's just got like cherry aid in it. <coughs> Excuse me, it's gassy. Now, I can't say I like it. But I can't say I dislike it. It's very dry, it is very dry. I don't think the right thing to do is take big mouthfuls like some kind of smart ass idiot like I do. The more I sip it, The more I sip it, it's not too bad. Would I drink it again? Probably not. Because at Round Corner Brewing, they do other beers like the Frisbee, which is a lager. I can't remember if I've had that one or not. Would I buy it again? Probably not. But I could see people who like an ale or a wheat beer or whatever, going, yeah, I quite like that. I'm not really getting as much cherry now as I did at the beginning. It's just a dry beer to me. A bit dry and bitter, but that's probably due to the hops or whatever it is they've used in it. I don't know. It's not for me to say. In fact, now I've lost all the flavour of the cherry. The cherry was quite strong at the beginning. I could taste it and everything. But now as I further I've gone down the cup, uh, down the glass, it's not so there, it's not so much there. I can actually see people who do drink this kind of beer, I think they probably like that. And I'm not just saying that because it's up the road and it, uh, the road, it's up the road and it's melting and all that and it's, um, you know, because if I didn't like it, I would honestly quite easily say, I don't like that, but it's dry, it's bitter. It's 
And I can't taste the cherry in that now. So there you go. Right, moving on to the Frisbee. Let's have a look at this one. Let me do see what's on here. The Frisbee. There we go. Uh, pouring a pale straw colour, Frisbee is a bright lager with a dense white foam. A blend of German and English moulds provides a delicate sweetness uh, with, with biscuits. With biscuits and honed, honed, honeyed malt, la, a honeyed malt character, um, honeyed malt character, very cold for mention and extended mature, mature, oh for fuck's sake, maturation provide a clean base to build upon with England fruit fuggles, hot, what, it made up words, this is, this is something that J.K. Rowling had write, uh, English Fuggles hops, which lend a light herbal and spicy aroma, yet uh, definitely yet and definitely yet soft bitterness. Awards uh, a silver in World Beer Awards in 2022 and silver International Brewing Awards in 2029. Now, 13 cans of this cost 26 pound. One can, what uh, two pound forty? Add it to the cart now. So it's a two point. It's a four point two lager, uh, named after a village just outside Melton Mowbray, and not the throwing disc. Frisbee is a cold mature and a cold mature and cold filter to create smoothness along with a crisp of dry finish. Uh, skill and patience makes this international renowned lager an absolute joy to drink, especially whilst bas basking in the sunshine. Other frisbee is optional. Good one finger head. It's not a lot of smell to it. But it's all right. Got it in my nose. Let's sup in. It's got a dryness, it's cold, it's crispy, it's fresh. That is easy to drink. That is very easy to drink. It's just a nice, simple, no frills lager. It's different from a Madri or anything like that, but it's all right. <coughs> I could quite easily sit at Round Corner Brewing chatting to my old mate Babs while drinking them. Quite easy, very easy to drink very easy to buy fucking all sounded like clocks and then <clears throat> but that's it that's all it needs simple no messing around get your hops get your whatever you do make lager everybody's happy it's easy done apparently you're supposed to do that it warms the warms it up in your mouth and gives the flavors that's just an easy, simple lager. It's lost its head. There's not a lot of smell. Well, there ain't no smell to it. No biscuits, no nothing there, but that's all right. If you're in the, if you, if you, I tell you what folks, right? I know you, I know you, nobody watches me nowhere near as much as they used to. This is what I wanted my channel to be, just me arsing about and a few thousand fucking subs, a uh, few thousand views. But if you do watch me and you are in the market for trying a different a few beers, go you go and have a look at Round Corner Brewing. You'll you'll be fine. There's no wrong with you. Where's that one they do? Gun metal, black lager. Get some of that. You'll love that. That's really good. That is nice. Shut up, you. 
Uh, so there you go folks, give it a go. Pop over to Scott and Wonder as well, see what he thinks of it, or they think of it, and go from there. Alright folks, bye now.